Hello there, this is Mr. Co 58 Bringing you some more of Blues and Bullets, part two. We're off to with our mysterious stranger to meet his boss. Doing it in style. Scared of heights. Yep. Since I was a kid, I like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> that makes two of us. If you need a paper bag, I have one. Raining hard. How high does this thing go? Higher than the clouds. Oh, yeah. As I said, this is a nice little game. I'm enjoying the storyline. It is very reminiscent of the Telltale games. A Wolf Among Us and The Walking Dead comes to mind. Looks like we've reached our destination. Very fancy. for the pie but welcome to the grand hindenburg hotel my name is susan and i'm glad to be of service your name please ness elliot ness thank you mr ness nice choice sounds genuine and now how can i help you i'm here to see mr capone there's no Mr. Capone here, Mr. Ness. Listen, Susan, I know more than 60 aliases for Al Capone, so you have two options. One is to delay my appointment with him until I guess the right one, which he is not going to like. The other is to send me through and earn my eternal gratitude and his. Your call. He's he's in the. Of course, you're gonna send me through. Top floor at the end of the red carpet. Thank you, Susan. Have a pleasant stay. Thank you, ma'am. Hotel, Mr. Ness. Well, let's have a little look around here. Your attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in three minutes. This character of mine run without being drunk. Oh, something to look at. Wow, what a view. High over the clouds. Must be a party going on here, I guess. And fancy dress shindig. <coughs> Excuse me. There's those tattoos again on those ladies. Wonder if they mean anything. Alright, where's my waypoint? It must be up here, I guess. At least my character can move a bit faster. Your 
attention, please. The cable car to Santa Esperanza leaves in two minutes. I think it's through here. What's this? Oh, same picture of uh, a Ryan. Oh, Ryan. Ryan. A Ryan. Transformed the Hindenburg into the monument to aeronautical luxury it is today. Hmm. Wonder if we meet in this geezer. they make I wouldn't do it for all the money yeah, I wouldn't want to do it hmm oh, what this is Crespo's And he's looking as bewildered as I am. Where's my money? Give it back. Come on. <coughs> Someone's partying when they've uh, married. We'll leave him alone, he thinks. That's the Hindenburg, I believe. Hey, Ryan's really taking the Hindenburg to heart. Wonder if there's a tie in with A. Ryan to the game as well, probably. I hope you guys are enjoying the game. I do like the uh, black and white feel to it with the graphics. Onwards and forwards. Giddy up, Elliot. Let's talk to this gentleman. What happened here? Nothing to worry about, my good man. What happens on the Hindenburg stays on the Hindenburg. I can dig that. Japanese garden, you say? Shala. My throw extraordinaire. Rather her than me. Well, she's got good life insurance policy. Nobody gets killed in these things. Oh, 
Obviously, I have a feeling I'm going to be meeting up with uh, with Mr. Capone. Obviously, I think. Let's just see. Uh, WCs, I believe. Yeah, it is. You should be rotting in jail. That's exactly what I've been doing for the last 19 and a half years. You'll be surprised what a little good behavior can do for a person. Yeah, not gonna ask me for my last words this time. I'm a lot closer to death than when I last saw you. As are you. Why did you ask me here? Why did you come? I wanted to see if you'd improved with age. I'm glad to see the answer's no. When you said rot in jail, you really meant it, huh? Look, uh, I didn't ask you here to find out who's got the snappiest comebacks. I want to hire you. What? I require really? your services as a detective. I don't know what your game is, but if your plan was to surprise me, you've succeeded. Look, Ness. My granddaughter Sophia has been kidnapped. When what happened to my son, Vittorio, I, uh, I put her in a boarding school. She was entered under a false surname. Colombo. Nobody knows who she is. Nobody? Uh, only Milton. The man who brought you here. I trust him completely. Two days ago, a guy turned up at the boarding school. He introduced himself as Guido Colombo, the girl's uncle, and her new legal guardian. He said her parents had just died in a tragic automobile accident. He produced all the relevant papers, driver's license, the custody document supposedly made out by the father, the death certificates. He uh, explained away the fact that the girl didn't know him by saying he moved to Seattle before she was born. Any clues? Nah. Well, Sophia was wearing a blue dress with flowers that I personally ordered for her from Italy. Uh, she was also wearing white ballet shoes with daisies embroidered on them. As for the guy, the school principal said he was tall and slim, uh, in his 50s. No particular accent. Black hair, no beard, no glasses. Well dressed. Could be anyone. But I know he was hired by one of my old associates. Someone wants to finish me once and for all. Maybe they want control Good. of what's left of my organization. Maybe they hate my guts. And I thought I was the only one who still hated you after 20 years. What else have you got? I got this. And I got you. You don't have me. My place is at my diner. And your girl's not there. Huh. So where you should I be looking? I'm not a cop anymore. Call the station. The station? Are you serious? The cops are rotten to the core. I should know. I helped make them that way. So why me? Twenty years ago, I pushed you to the edge. I bought your friends and killed the ones who couldn't be bought. I got you so obsessed with me that your wife ended up leaving you. When you had nothing left, you walked into my house, shot my bodyguards, and pointed a gun at me. You could have killed me. But you chose to Should restrain have. yourself. You even gave my son a lecture on ethics. You're the only honest man I know. Gotta go for her. I'll do it. Not for you. For her. Follow the I knew I got line. the right guy. But I want Let's something in return. Kids. As you can see, I'm not short of money. Ask. I won't haggle. We'll go for donation. You give your entire fortune to the Santa Esperanza Hospice. That won't be difficult. I've been donating to them for decades. And I don't need the money anymore. 
I don't give a damn what happens to me, Ness. You just save Sophia. And you can start by investigating Carlo Baccarini. How did you know? Biggest forger in Santa Esperanza. Wouldn't surprise me if Sophia's so-called uncle's papers were made by him. Besides, he's been cursing your name ever since we put you in jail. Hey, I treated him like a son. After you killed his parents. They were selling booze without my permission. Wait, you know where to find them? I have a good contact at the station. A girl. Rookie. Straight arrow. Reliable. A girl? You saying you trust her? You are such a chauvinist. Do you trust me? Deal? I'm gonna punch him. Deal. Oh, gee, son of a bitch. Keep Milton informed at all times, huh? You hear me? I know you from somewhere. You're not gonna ask me for my last words. You should be running. I'm never going to help you. Why me? I'm not asking you to help me. I'm not a cop. I'll do it. Not for you. Doing a bit of a Max Payne bit here. Even the rats are safe. Those who swore to protect us fight to steal the last scraps of dignity we have left. And those who should judge them prefer to swallow over their prey. It wasn't always like this. The Santa Esperanza I was born in was a clean town. I'll just follow the prompts. Be a good boy. Well, sort of good, anyway. Clear Ed Elliot. Sop on that juice. Yeah. Ness. Elliot, I found Carlo Baccarini. I knew you would, Alice. Write this down. Thirty one Wicker Avenue in Lakeview. Thanks. Nice work. Elliot, what do you want with him? He's got a hell of a file. Right now, it's better you don't know, Alice. What? Are you protecting me? I promised your father that I would. I'm a cop, not a little girl. Alice, I don't have much time. I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks. Tomorrow's going to be a long, long day. 